Uh, Alrighty, hey guys, this video is for Dan. Um, he's buying my bearded dragon off of me. Basically, the story behind Fred is when I met my fiance, she had a bearded dragon named Sydney. He was, I think he was like five when he died, but he had problems. Uh, he had a jaw infection when he was younger. He was her first bearded dragon. And he just had issues. He just, well, he ended up passing away a couple, uh, like a year ago. Well, we got Fred two, three years ago in August. Or she'll, no, she'll be, she'll be three this August. Or she, no, she is three. She'll be four come, the upcoming August. Yeah. So uh, we picked her up at a little local reptile show. It's a little baby. And uh, basically we live in an apartment where she doesn't get as much attention. And so I'm selling her to Dan. Not really selling. Um, he's taking her. Pretty much give me 50 bucks. We're driving her up to New York. And, you know, he's basically paying for the lamps and like a little bit of gas. So he, we just want her to have a good home. Um, I'm going to give you her log because she likes it in her cave. As you can see, she likes it. But she's a big old, big old beardy dragon. She barely fits in her log, but I mean, she's perfectly healthy, nice and nice and fat. The only thing is she's missing about an inch of her tail that happened when she's a baby. As you can see, that's all healed up. Um, Christine accidentally dropped her first cave on her tail, and it kinked the end of her tail, which dried up and fell off. So, like I said, I told you in that uh, message, she's not very active right now. Every winter, I mean, it's nice and warm in there. It's about 85 at, in the bottom of the cage, up by where she basks, which she'll climb right up on that log and bask. It's like 110. So, but uh, she's a... Uh, She's just not very active in the winter. She stops eating. She'll sleep for days. But I'm sure when she's around other bearded dragons, she'll perk up. Um, she is a very dominant bearded dragon. Uh, the few times we would let her run around with Sydney, he would try to breed with her, and she would beat the crap out of him. <laughs> she wouldn't beat him up, but she'd definitely fight back. And uh, she's, she's run around the apartment with the cats and she'll scare them off so that's that I just wanted to show you Fred uh, like I said she should be to you Thursday and as far as other things go I got a snake going out tonight all ready for that and uh, my new addition is coming in tomorrow so you guys will see him when he comes in I'll do a video on that but that's it. Oh.